Hey guys, Thomas the Silver Genie here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie Old. If you end up enjoying this review, then consider joining my Patreon page. That'll be the second link in the description. Also consider subscribing uh, if you end up enjoying the review. Enough with the shilling though, let's get on with it. So, this is the movie Old, which is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, who has had the waviness of unpredictability, uh, who has done movies that have been actually pretty good, like Split, and then have been the worst things that you could possibly conceive of, like The Last Airbender. So, it is suffice to say that you get a very mixed bag with an M. Night Shyamalan movie, but this happens to be in the horror genre, so those tend to not be favorable, except his very early movies, I think, I uh, forget what it's called. But uh, point being, uh, you have the, you know, the twist, all that stuff that you associate with the Shyamalan, but we're here to review this movie, so let's get on with that. So the movie starts off well enough with a family of four. We got a mom, a dad, a daughter, and a son who are going to this resort. Uh, and once they arrive at this resort, uh, we, we see them sort of just sort of hanging around, uh, having a little bit of fun. Uh, the kids get temporarily split up from the parents, and the dialogue, uh, particularly with the son, seems to be of M. Night Shyamalan quality, where you get this bizarre exposition. Uh, it's one thing that M. Night Shyamalan still doesn't seem to understand how to do properly. Uh, this has been an issue very prevalent in The Last Airbender because that movie was nothing but exposition. Uh, and it would appear that he has not learned much about how to do, actually do exposition. Now, here's the thing about that, and this is usually where I keep talking about the review, but uh, during the end of my reviews usually, and more typically, I tend to try to teach, uh, you know, people who watch my reviews all the way through uh, little, like, things, how to get better if you're new to this whole, you know, all this writing stuff, uh, but I figure I might as well stop now because there's already something to talk about. You see, exposition, like everything else in writing, uh, is n inherently neutral, uh, is the way I have come to discuss, uh, you know, uh, appreciate writing, is that in anything in writing it can be really good or it can be really bad. Uh, all of the, the phrases you hear, and exposition, exposition, sorry, is one of them. And what exposition is, in, in what it is inherently, is to tell the people who are watching essentially what is happening. And there are different ways to do that, either through dialogue or through uh, a visual representation of what you're trying to tell the audience. Uh, and there is, of course, the mixture of doing a little bit of both. And usually when you are trying to do good writing is what you probably want to aim for is doing a little bit of both, as well as having the writing seem a little bit more natural. That is something that is very hard to do. Uh, having a kid that just constantly asks people what their parents do and what their jobs are specifically to have that end up being a plot point is very poor writing, I feel like. Or it's very basic writing, I should say. Not poor, but very basic. It's the very bottom level writing uh, skill you've got going on here. And with that, that is the consistency, but this movie actually gets a lot worse with how it proceeds in its writing. But for now, everything seems at a very base level, very just, it's very, it, it's, I would use the word actually a little bit cringe, uh, 
you know, it, it kind of gets a little annoying. It kind of gets, you kind of pay attention to it the more it keeps happening. Uh, and it does keep happening. So anyways, they're hanging. Uh, the mom, we see the mother of the group, uh, see her sort of away from the kids. So we know that there's something going on a bit more visually. So that's good when you do it that way. Anyway, they're getting ready. Uh, so as we are learning more about them, uh, we learn that the mother has some sort of condition and they are having also other issues among potential divorce as well as this other issue. And as they're, they leave their room and enter sort of this main room uh, where all these other people are in the resort, uh, this woman who is drinking has a seizure attack and after a brief amount of moments uh, she gets helped from the person that's with him, with her. Um, at first I thought, okay, this was a little bit of a random moment. It does turn out that this one does serve a much later purpose in the movie. Anyway, uh, M. Night Shyamalan decides that he wants to be in the movie himself, so he has a cameo. Whatever. I don't mind directors being cameos in their own movies. It's, it's whatever to me. Um, he's done it before. Uh, the other people have done it. It's whatever at this point. Um, I mean, preferably... You want to get actors who can act, but, you know, it's, again, uh, so anyways, they get driven to this beach, the family heads there, and it's this huge rock pass with one entrance, uh, and the rest is just a beach. And as they make their way there, and as they sort of get a little bit more comfortable, they get joined by a doctor and this model woman. Who come in together very a bit afterwards um, and as we learn as we see more about this particular little group we see a uh, husband and wife who are again having this trouble uh, and we're having this doctor and model who have their own thing going on uh, but as we are progressing, we see the, the kids, the daughter and the son, Maddox and Trent, head into a cave very briefly. And they walk over as their sort of their curiosities are getting the better of them. They find some old stuff. And it starts to leave the first amount of suspicion that something's going on here. Uh, but speaking of stuff going on, they find a body. Uh, and the kids get taken away as the body uh, is pulled in into the shore of the beach. And this rapper character joins them. He apparently was there earlier than even the um, the, the parents, uh, which later on will prove to make a little bit less sense, but here we go. The, the timeline of crumbling things are going to crumble a lot in this review. So two more people join them. Um, the woman that had the seizure attack and the husband that was with them uh, as well. So as they're getting uh, ready to leave after finding a corpse, one of the the guy that just joined them, literally, decides that he's going to try to head out. But he blacks out, and he ends up back at the shore, and apparently he walked backwards, like, it was like the happening or something. I don't know. Anyway. Trent, who, stupidly, does see a light up on the cliff, but doesn't mention it to anyone. Yeah, that would be nice to be like, hey, there was something up there, maybe we should... Uh, that's a little bit suspicious, don't you think, guys? Or, you know, it, it, 
he even points it out. He says there's someone watching us, even as a kid. So, you know, just gonna point that out there. Anyway, uh, one of the older women that was with them uh, among the groups that came with, I believe, the doctor and the other woman uh, passes away next. Uh, the two that joined them, Jaren and Patricia, the one with the seizures, uh, are, uh, you know, trying to seemingly try to get everyone on track. At least Patricia at least tries to want to do a little bit more of, but uh, as we are sort of splitting up the people of the beach, the son and the daughter get explicitly a little bit older. And suddenly the rapper decides to suddenly run off for whatever reason. And the doc, uh, the doctor chases him for reasons of racism, I think. Um, but they both pass out and they both also just end up back where they were at the shore. So they come to the bizarre conclusion that going into the tunnel leads to blackouts and also, for whatever reason, ending up back at the shore. And the doctor is continuing to try to attack this rapper because racism, I think. Uh, but then the dog dies next. Uh, the, this woman, the old woman had a dog, it dies next. Um, so now three people have turned up dead. Uh, and the group re-meets back up. Uh, so... Uh, the doc and the model are talking it out first, trying to figure out what they're going to do. And as this is all going down, uh, the mother uh, of the first initial family passes out. Uh, as they are trying to figure out what's going on, even more strangeness happens as one of the people gets cut and it, their cutting is rapidly healed. Uh, meanwhile, back at the other end of the shore, the rapper goes back to where that initial body was and see that it has already decayed into a skeleton. Um, so yeah. Anyway, we come to the other side of the beach where the kids were, at least two of them were, Trent and this younger girl, who we saw also come with the dock, I believe, in the, the model. Uh, she exclusively came with the model, but again, they're aging. Uh, and we see them in the tent. And we see them sort of hugging a little bit, and we kind of cut away. And by the time we see them exit the tent, the young girl, who is now older, is now pregnant. Because, you know, uh, I guess they hooked up and whatever amount of time they hooked up in. So the baby is born, and it dies relatively quickly because of this accelerated aging. So meanwhile, the doctor uh, is getting more and more demented, and so his what was questionable racism becomes explicit racism, I think, as he kills the rapper explicitly just to kill someone for some reason. Um, so Jaren thinks that he'll try to do, go by the water, swimming it out. So he starts swimming it out. Meanwhile, uh, the young, the woman, uh, the young girl, I should say, starts to think that she can climb up. Uh, and that does not go well as, as she climbs up and she eventually falls down and dies. And the swimming guy also comes back dead too. So, after all that, the mom admits that uh, as things are, you know, getting all tense and people more people are dying, that... There was someone else in her life that, uh, and this is happening with her and her daughter. So Maddox goes into the water very briefly, and again, she's the one who finds Jaren's body. 
And this is where we see the rest of the climb happen of Kara and her falling down. So there's a little bit of cutting back and forth between these two parts. Uh, and then the next element to happen is the woman, Patricia, who we've seen had a seizure attack at the, uh, you know, the beginning of the movie, has a new seizure attack and dies. Uh, we see that the, mo the model who was there earlier is older. Uh, the father is getting older, etc., etc. Uh, Trent and Maddox find a note about this aging process, so from people who were, I guess, there before and took notes of what was happening. Um, so the doc, who's gone absolutely crazy, decides to also attack the family, which is why I kept saying questionable racism, because he kind of just started attacking more people, so I don't know if he's just crazy crazy. Um, so again, I'm not sure what they were trying to go for with that character when he just started attacking other- I don't know. Anyway, point is, we move on. The kids, who are now, again, older, the, the two uh, main kids, the son and the daughter, uh, go into the cave where they see the older model going crazy, uh, who's contorting herself for whatever reason, uh, and injuring herself for whatever reason, and kills herself for whatever reason. This is all the most bizarre shit I've seen in this entire movie, but whatever. Um, so the doc is trying to cut with the dagger, and he's attacked back by the wife with the rusted dagger, and he's killed via fast, and I mean super fast, poison. So the kids come back to the parents, and as they, the, to the parents are getting older, uh, they start to forget why they are fighting, uh, their memories are kind of shifting, I guess, f somehow. Um, things that y you wouldn't anticipate P characters to know suddenly know, like the, the, the kids. So the parents pass away too. And at this point, we, this is where we see Trent and Maddox, the two once kids, now adults, uh, start to try to just make some castles. They seem to be pretty contempt, even though they have the potential to pass away relatively shoonish, as they even admit in the movie. Uh, but they get this code, and I, they, I guess the kid had it on him all along. The the son, I guess, passed it to him. The one that one of the business people or the re hotel resort people had, and it was prompted at the very beginning of the movie that the son knew how to do these codes, did the code, it mentioned something about coral, um, and so they go in, into the water, but they head toward the coral reef, uh, specifically, uh, because I guess coral has something to do with keeping you young, question mark? I don't know. Um, even though there was another interesting answer I saw at one of the other reviews I just saw, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, or at the end of the review, or the, uh, the, you know, talking about what happened in the movie. So, we cut back to M. Night Shyamalan, who goes back to the server, uh, the other people, uh, who were talking about how this was a trial, uh, their 73rd trial to be specific. And that the testing that they have been doing is to test people who have these conditions, various conditions, give them some sort of cure, uh, get them to the speech where their where the testing is being accelerated by you know whatever amount of time, and you know doing the mathematical equation of what that would equate to in the normal amount of time and apparently they were 
according at least to them, very successful in this test. So it was designed, again, according to them, to make medicine. However, uh, the kids get out as adults. And the cap kids, as they have been known to do, get out. And they go to the police, which one of the kids, uh, the son, had mentioned and had, had asked around uh, one of the people there if what you know what your job was as I mentioned that very expository dialogue and he somehow remembers that one of them was a police officer goes to him uh, and tells him because they have a list of all these other people who've been missing I guess uh, that they found along the way uh, and so we see the two of them enter a helicopter and be shown uh, or show off the location to uh, the police who you know and the movie just sort of ends there after they're in the helicopter and yeah so one of the interesting things I heard brought up in one of the other reviews that I saw was that the food that they were brought with had was covered in tin foil like a foily tin, you know, uh, sort of uh, material, and the review mentioned how how come no one had the thought of covering themselves up when they hurt when they started to piece together uh, the whole like you know it the whole process of aging and all that. How come they didn't try at least that? Um, and. This movie has a consistent thing of having people like split up in the order to them to get the whole aging process to happen. The kids, you know, split from the parents for that foreseeable amount of time to age them explicitly, even though at first glance it might not seem like it, but it keeps happening with everyone else. Um, you know, the doctor getting more and more dementia every time that is happening he goes off screen and back on screen and then he's on the next tick if as it were uh you know uh it's very evident with the kids uh, as they are aging obviously especially when they're turned to adults you have to cut away because you have to get new actors obviously for them to be adults uh and again, new actors for them when they are the teenager years, obviously. So there are some things that are pretty hard and, you know, impossible to avoid, like uh, having to cut away to do explicit aging instead of, like, very gradual aging. Um, you know, this isn't like Benjamin Button, for example, which is the immediate movie I think of when I think of aging, an aging movie. You know, you have someone who's aging backwards into a younger character, um, and how long they are able to keep the same actor for the older years to the younger years, and then eventually having to find someone who's younger, you know, because, you know, you can go pretty far in the old age with some makeup, some, you know, some stuff you can put on your face, your hair, you can get some wigs, uh, but your body, when you're younger, you know, it's smaller, so that is, I, I do understand that. Um, in terms of it making sense, there, you know, you have that rapper character who I mentioned who's there earlier, uh, you know, his, his aging seems to be not as evident, but they make jokes about it, I guess. Question mark. Um, there is the, the emphasis of, you know, escape one way, but then there's drama, and then trying to escape another way, but then there's drama. It's very, uh, distinct amount of like time where like it seems like they're giving up or you know and for the sake of drama that seems very counterintuitive it seems like it wouldn't be the 
the way people would behave in the scenario, you know, after the first one, where they come out of the cave based off of going backwards for whatever reason, um, you would think that the whole them going into the water second would actually happen a lot faster, but there's a pretty decent chunk of time between those two things, and then the one, the other one where someone's trying to climb upwards, it's kind of happening pretty close to that, so I, those two kind of make sense to be that close together, because reasonably, you know, if you're trying, if you're in a situation where you're trying to get out, you're trying to exhaust all your options first, and then the drama can sort of uh, manifest as the options seem like there are virtually zero, right? The only way they got out was through the coral, which didn't make sense because, again, there are other, there seemed like to be one other clear option there that, um, that they never even considered. Uh, again, that's wrapping themselves in the tin, the foil, and then, you know, moving toward the cave that way. Uh, so yeah, uh, and again, some of the acting in itself is a little bit on the eh side. Uh, not as bad as like the happening weird, like not that bad I would say, but I wouldn't say it's phenomenal or great. I would just say it's meh. Uh, the timeline stuff, there's some questionable stuff going on there, you know. And then there is the the desperation of wanting to escape this sort of uh, feeling of, you know, hopelessness does seem a little bit uneven in its execution and its pacing. Um, but other than that, I would probably give this movie in its entirety a 4 out of 10. Uh, because I do think there are a few meh things about this movie. So that's my review of the movie Old. So if you ended up enjoying it, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also make sure to check out those links in the description. One will head you over to my Discord server, the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are desperately needed. And until next time, everyone, bye bye